Right guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to get the latest Android P multitasking UI on your Galaxy device running on Android Oreo. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so basically you have to have obviously a Galaxy uh, device like my S8 or an S9 or maybe an S7 at least a Galaxy device running on Android Oreo to get this to work you don't have to be rooted to do this so you just need to install an APK file and then another application basically to get it working so this is how it looks like uh, from initial uh, initial uh, impressions I mean initial looks looks like that so firstly you need to install this uh, APK file you can go to uh, the link is in the description below. I've already put the uh, link to this uh, page. This is a Sam Mobile uh, page. You can check it out. It's called the Samsung Task Changer. Basically, the app. The app is called that. So once you uh, scroll down, you can go ahead and download it. Just hit download. For me, I've already installed it. I'm just going to show you guys uh, the process. So okay. Oh, it's downloading too. Anyway. So once you hit download, you can just open it and uh, go ahead and install it. I already installed it, so I'm not going to do it. Once you've done that, you're going to install one more uh, application. You're going to go to the Play Store. You're going to search for... You're going to search for Quick... Short... Shortcut Maker. So this is the app that you need to install. So I've already installed it. I'm going to go, go ahead and open it. Right, so this is pretty important as you need to uh, change the settings of the task changer as you can see in the apps list there's no task changer uh, app in, uh, in the list so you need this app to change the settings so I'm going to show you guys what I mean by that you're going to find the task changer uh, app so just search task right so I found it so this is the apps uh, that's installed already so you're going to go down to the task changer settings over here and you're going to open it by hitting try so this way you can activate the uh, the UI so you can see it's already in use if I turn it off um, I'm back to the old uh, UI which is the default Samsung uh, multitasking UI on uh, Oreo as of now but on Android P we're going to get a new one uh, which is coming pretty soon so we're going to turn it on and so we can have a look of some of the settings we can change so now my one is uh, scale there's a couple of options you can change like Cubin. So Cubin is like like this. The animations like this. Uh, cube out. It's pretty straightforward. Is it looks like it's coming out. And the one linear, I think, is just standard. Yeah, it's just like pretty pretty diff, uh, plain and standard. You can see. And we have also scale, which is the one I'm using now. So it scales up and down. And we have rotation up. I think this is like, yeah, it's like a, it's a bit of a rotational uh, UI here. And same goes to rotation down, which looks like this. Right, so I'm going to change it back to skill here. And we also can do mini mode. So basically, if you turn it on, you can just use one hand and you can control the UI with just one finger, which is nice. And you don't have to stretch out your hand so far. Um, by default, it's off, but you can turn it on if you want. So we have also the blur background effect. So right now, if I go to the UI, you can see my uh, my uh, settings here is kind of blurred out. So if you don't like that, you can just disable it, and it will look like this, which is clear. So let's say I go to the Play Store, you can see it's clear. So yeah, and let's turn it back on. And also we have uh, center the currently running app. So now if I go to the UI, the multitasking UI. You can see my task changer settings is uh, centered. So if you don't want that, you can just turn it off and you will go to the previous app you have opened, which is the Play Store for me. Uh, so yeah, so for me, I turn that on. And that's basically the settings for the task changer uh, settings app. So you can fiddle around with the settings uh, how you want. All right, let's start now let's take a look at the UI in detail. So now you can see this is pretty much what it looks like for the Android P update. It's coming very soon. So, sorry. So this is sort of an early uh, preview of the uh, UI that you're going to expect from the Samsung Experience uh, UI on top of Android, uh, Android P. 
So yeah, so basically, if you want to close apps, it's the same thing. I mean, it's just a swipe up. You want to close uh, one of the apps. You want to close all, just hit the close all button. But what's new here on Android P coming shortly is this one, where you can open a pop-up view if the app supports it. You can check the app info, you can lock the app, or you can hide the content. So if I hide the content, you can see, you can't see uh, the content of the uh, task changer settings. You can see. Now when I open it, of course you can see it, but yeah, so that is uh, one of the good things. And let's just unhide it. And let's say if you want to open in pop-up view, yep, it does work. And you can open it back. And if you're wondering, does the multitasking uh, shortcut works? the multi-window shortcut? Just long press, and you can see we can open other apps which supports multi-window. So you can open YouTube, and it does work. And you can obviously close the one you don't want, and there you go. And if you're asking whether does the double tap uh, uh, of the recent apps button takes you back to the previous app, it does work. So it takes you back to YouTube. If I double tap again, it takes you back to the settings. So everything works fine. And the uh, one functionality is working is the Bixby uh, close all apps uh, close all apps using your voice. So it does work. I'm gonna show you guys here. Close all apps. And you can see Bixby does work with this UI as well, so you can close all the apps using uh, Bixby as well. So yeah guys, that's uh, pretty much it actually, uh, uh, just a brief overview of the task changer application that you're going to get with the Android P update which is coming uh, pretty shortly, but I'm not sure when. But this APK allows you to actually preview it already on your S8 or any device any Galaxy device running on Android Oreo so you can have an early preview of it using uh, your device basically it's uh, it's kind of nice in my opinion I mean it's a different uh, UI uh, compared to the one we saw on the, uh, the previous version but this one I think it's pretty nice and it's a good change and you guys that's all for this video thank you all for watching hopefully you enjoyed it see you guys in the next one peace out